What are some common issues that a geriatric clinical social worker helps their clients with? Uh, Sarah has shared with us before and she's back and um, she's going to help answer these questions. So as life goes on and changes happen, uh, individuals encounter challenges that are difficult to cope with. So like themes like loss, life transition, like retirement, or change in functioning, decline, weakening, change in circumstances, caregiver stress, corona isolation or burnout. All these things uh, really foster emotions of depression, anxiety, sadness. So what we do is, as a psychotherapist, as, as a clinical social worker, is I take a holistic approach that, um, that really we talk about the whole individual. So we talk about concrete ways to address the issues, and we also talk about psychological ways and interventions to address the issues. And we give, I, I offer a lot of tools, and we explore how to better uh, approach the situation. And oftentimes, you see results if you work hard at it, if you're dedicated and motivated, you see results in terms of improving the situation, improving how you look at the situation, and improving how you feel about the situation. By validating feelings and offering psychological insights and interventions and tools, you really help improve how people see the situation. And I think it's important to note, the first generation that we're seeing of people that all of a sudden, after retirement, they have a whole new life to live. They have 10, 20, 30 years where they have to decide what they want to do now. And you can imagine, I, I remember when I was about to enter college, I was so nervous. What do I pick to go into? I was, I was concerned about what's going to be. You know, I, This is something that for the next 30 years, I'm going to have to focus on. And, and, and so they have that kind of anxiety too of how do I choose to live my life? And it is something because it's unknown because especially this is the first generation that has to do this it creates anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I had a few questions and I was curious when you work with the uh, geriatric older crowd, mm -hmm. is it common that as young adults and as younger adults, they didn't have these issues, but then that they form later in life? Is that a very common thing happening? We see both. We okay. see people that have had anxiety throughout their lives and mm -hmm. now as they get older, sometimes um, they, it, oh, the anxiety overwhelms them and they can't necessarily um, cope with it as well. Okay. And then we see, I see people that, that just say to me, I've never been anxious before and all of a sudden I'm so anxious. Right. And so we work on, you know, on their strengths. We work on identifying their thoughts behind the anxiety. We work on challenging their thoughts and, you know, and, and having them kind of in, introduce more positive thoughts and, and, and having them have more of a realistic as opposed to a pessimistic view, which does create the anxiety. Um, well, once again, thank you for sharing and uh, thank you for watching. And if it's, this was helpful, then please press subscribe so you could see future videos.